Internal Bar Strength Indicator. It's a very simple indicator and we will build an extremely simple yet very robust mirror version strategy using this indicator trading the indexes. So let's jump in. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey and welcome to Stat Oasis channel where we discuss finance, investing, algorithmic trading, and everything else in between. The aim of the channel is to arm you with the right education to trade the financial market profitably. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the amazing content that I put daily on this channel. Also, it would be great, amazing, and greatly appreciated if you can share the video with others, as this is a great signal for Google to push the video to other traders, other investors, so they can get some value out of these videos. Back in December of 2020, I did a video about internal bar strength. Really, this is a simple indicator based on a single bar where we measure the strength of the buyers against the sellers. And we can see where the pressure uh, closed at the end of the day. So if we look at here at this candle, this is the high, the low and the close. And we don't, we don't care where the open sits. So we can do the internal bar strength indicator by doing this formula. The close minus the low divided by the high minus the low. And we can see from this that the IBS, which is the short for internal bar strength, it will range between zero and one. Because if we imagine that the high, that the close is at the high, the close equals the high, so this means that this equation will equal to one. And of course, if the close is at the low, then this equation will equal to zero. So then when the IBS is close to anything below 0.25, that means we close at the bottom and that means there is weakness. And of course, if we close at the top, that means there is strength. So anything above 0.75, closer to one, that, that is strength. So like I mentioned, this is an extremely simple indicator based on single bar. And we can use this indicator uh, to measure the strength and the weakness of the fight during the day between the buyers and the sellers. Now, this will work greatly in both in uh, trend following uh, breakout and also in uh, mirror version. The strategy I did back in December 2020 based on this was using mirror version on the indexes because the indexes tend to be me reverting. In this video, we will, first of all, see the out of sample because we have now live nine months of out of sample. And also I will show you how this strategy performs on a portfolio of uh, indexes. So in strategy context, I built the custom block. Uh, this is uh, IBS and this is on daily. And we can see uh, we will enter long when it's below 0.2 and we will exit when it's above 0.9. That's it. There is no stop loss, no, it's just a market order the next day. And this is the back test uh, on the Dow Jones since 1998. So we had, of course, the dot com bubble here where we lost some money. And in 2008, we have the subprime bubble. We also lost a little bit of money. And lately in 2018, it didn't perform well. Uh, but this is the out of sample performing uh, really well. All the months are winners except May, June, and we are losing a little bit in September. Now, this is based on fixed 100 shares per trade. So let's see the what happened in a portfolio. So here is the test on a portfolio of indexes. So this is the uh, Dow Jones technology sector, S&P 500, semiconductor sector, and NASDAQ. Russell 2000, biotech sector, and China. The strategy performing very well. This test uh, since 2008 till the latest data I have somewhere in the middle of September. And the average trade hovers between, this is after $10 commission, uh, which should be very uh, gracious because you, know, you can trade for free in the US or uh, free to enter and $5 to exit. And this is based on 100 shares. So theoretically, this should be, we should add $10 here per trade, but in any case. So we can see that China is the worst in terms of average trade. And then we can see that uh, the S&P 500 is the best in terms of average trade. So these are the uh, individual parts. 
and we can see they are hovering around seven days holding period where the sectors hold about five to six days and the indexes hold about six to eight days you can see the curves and this green is the out of sample and we can see we are doing new uh, higher highs almost uh, monthly and we can see that all months like i mentioned we are doing uh, higher highs so january you made money february march all of them including september which we are in the middle of and if we go to the trade analysis we can see that in 2021 we had 130 trades so far which is really good 73 percent winners and if we go to correlations then we can see that based on the open trades that the s p 500 is highly correlated with the dow jones and then with the nasdaq and also with the technology sector then it goes down with the semiconductor sector with russell biotech and china and then if i go by profit and loss then we can see we have much better correlations so even though the s p 500 is highly correlated with dow jones and the nasdaq but their profit and loss are not so and of course china again is really the best diversifier and all this is based like i mentioned on 100 shares per trade so of course there is no uh, position sizing and we're not using any leverage but of course it shouldn't be that uh, bad because the most expensive uh, share is the S&P 500 in 2021 which is sitting at somewhere 400 something and then the Dow Jones 300 semiconductor 265 and then they go down in price so theoretically any account can trade this uh, especially because the drawdown is extremely low and if i zoom in here because we are making higher hires all the time this is the only drawdown we have uh three percent so really 2021 was a great year for this portfolio it's compounding at 24 percent which is huge and 45 percent drawdown which happened back in 2008 now i did also another portfolio which is only the indexes uh, no sectors and no china so this is dow jones russell nasdaq and s p 500 and it makes a little bit less money so compounding at 20 percent but also less drawdown at 36 percent and of course it have a higher uh, average trade because uh, china remember is the lowest one so there we make 68 percent and this one is 89 average trade and also the uh, in 2021 the win rate is 78 percent for the indexes and for the whole portfolio is 73 percent so all in all they are very uh, equal i would say uh, i would rather of course trade the the uh, the etfs because you know i'm trading more so the indexes is almost uh, let's say one and a half position instead of one because they are correlated but then they raised the other ETFs. They add really good diversification to the portfolio. So there you go. Extremely simple indicator that we designed an extremely simple mirror version strategy built on this. As you see, it's very robust strategy already. We have nine months out of sample with 170 plus trades. That is amazing by any measures. And we are doing compounding at uh, 24 uh, percent annually which is if you keep this going uh, this is huge of course so if you are a viewer of this channel then you already know that i always look for simple indicators simple strategies and the reason for that always comes back to robustness because the pillar of robust strategy is simplicity the simpler the better which all follows a concept by my virtual mentor perry kaufman which is called loose pants because loose pants fits many <laughs> many sizes inside it and it works as pants of course if you trade multiple robust portfolios then that's even better yes because then you're combining multiple robust strategies in portfolio and multiple robust portfolios in a fund of portfolios as always i'm happy to answer any questions you have please do comment below share your thoughts like dislike uh, share the video with others and of course if you want to discuss uh, this further you are most than welcome to join the discussion at the discord server through the patreon link uh, down below
As always, good luck with your trading, good luck with your investing, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.